Are you ready to lose your shirt, uh, cloak? I'm Erin McCole Cup. I've lost 100 pounds, and today I live in food freedom thanks to the power of the theology of the body and modern secular addiction science. I'm talking here about Mark 10, 46, 52. So that's the story of blind Bartimaeus. It's the one where Jesus and his large entourage are leaving Jericho and this blind beggar named Bartimaeus. And by the way, Bartimaeus means son of fear. I was like today years old when I learned that. Anyway, Bartimaeus starts calling out to Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. People tell him to shut up. Bartimaeus responds by getting louder. Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. Nobody scared this son of fear into silence. I, I just love that, but more on that later. So Jesus stops in his tracks and tells people to call Bartimaeus over to him. The disciples go over Bartimaeus and tell him, get up. Jesus is calling. And then there's this tiny detail that I just caught for the first time recently in this story. The blind guy throws off his cloak before he goes to Jesus. Look, I'm not blind, but I'm really nearsighted. And if I put my phone down when I don't have my glasses on, there's a good chance I'm going to lose my phone and then I go into a panic. But this guy throws off his cloak, which means if he goes to Jesus and doesn't get cured, he may have just lost his last shred of dignity, his cloak, his because he won't know where it is. He won't be able to go back and find it because he would still be blind. Jesus asks him what he wants. Bartimaeus wants to see. Jesus tells him, go your way. Your faith has saved you. Don't you just love that? Jesus could legit have taken all of the credit, but he still said, your faith saved you. Jesus just loves to keep pointing out to us how we cooperate with him in our healing. Immediately Bartimaeus can see and he goes on his way, which is to follow Jesus. Bartimaeus is a great example of self-advocacy, of faith that God will not leave us without resources when we step out in faith. And most of all, he's a model of courage. For those of us who struggle with trusting that God is a loving father who wants good things for us, Bartimaeus just throws off his cloak. Again, that name, Bartimaeus, son of fear. What is the son of fear? It's courage. Take courage. Get up. Jesus is calling you.